Page in versus Jog AI. Which of these two AI avatar video generators is the best? That's what we're going to be covering inside of this video. Now, just before we get started, if you haven't got either of these platforms and you want to help support the channel, I've left links down to that in the description. There's also some free AI resources, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to compare between both of these platforms is the pricing, because this is usually going to be a big deciding factor for a person wanting to choose one of these. So with HeyGen on the $29 creator per month plan, you get unlimited videos up to 30 minutes long and you also get to have one custom video avatar. You also get all the bells and whistles like voice cloning, custom avatars, things like that. Inside Jog AI, to get the same level of uh, allowances, you'd need to go on the $69 plan, which is unlimited videos up to 15 minutes long, but you can have 10 custom video avatars. So that's pretty cool. Now they're doing a massive push on Jog AI right now for uh, annual prices. They have over 50% off, which is pretty nuts. Um, so that brings the price right down to $36 as well. Um, so just putting it out there. Now in terms of features, this is probably also going to be a big deciding factor, but to tell you the truth, they basically have these same things. So on HeyGen, we've got video avatars, photos, so that's upload a photo and you can make it talk. Um, generative ARs, UGC avatars, avatar looks, localization, um, which is translating videos basically, and an interactive avatar, which is like having a Zoom call and that avatar conversing with a person. On Jog AI, they also have some of the features, avatar videos, where are we talking photo, URL to video. So this is where you can actually punch in a URL of a web page or a, a product page, and it can actually take the information, the videos, the photos, and create a video off that. It's a really cool one. You've also got podcast video. We've got the video translator once again, um, script writing and everything in between. So I feel like Jog's probably got slightly more features in terms of e-commerce, things like that. But generally speaking, they have relatively the same things. They both also have APIs that you can integrate with. So if you're a big automation fan, this is going to be really cool as well. So what I'm going to do now is log into the back office and show you the avatar selections. Okay, so this is the back office of Hagen, and I'll just disappear from the screen. And inside here, this is basically all of the things you can do. In terms of actual avatars, you can just come inside here. There is 1,014 different views of the avatars inside of here. And what I mean by that is let's just say you wanted to use Annie for something. Annie's actually got 54 different looks that you can choose from. As you can see, different clothes, different settings, different angles. So this is pretty cool. So 1,014 options in terms of how you want an avatar to look. So insane amounts of avatars. Really good if you wanted to create like multiple angle from the same one particular um, character. Now inside of Jog AI, I'm actually not too sure um, how many there are total, but there is a lot. And I have to admit, the Jog AI feels more like a a UGC type of format. Everything is mainly in portrait mode, which is the long ways, not landscape. But if you come through, it's it's unreal, the realism of all of these types of avatars. Some you would not even know it's not a real person. It's insane, but there is a massive selection. Um, and once again, they've also got different looks as well. So in terms of avatars, both of them have a lot. I actually think Jog AI has probably got more in portrait mode than HeyGen. HeyGen's probably got a lot more in landscape. So. If that's a big difference, then that might be one of the deciding factors. Now they both have AI voiceovers, so you can clone your voice, you can use voices in different things. They both got translations, um, and that's basically kind of it. Now what I'm gonna do is show you what a native um, avatar inside of each of these programs sounds like. So I'll just show you this one here. It's the most recent one I created um, just before. Hey, my name is Stella, and I love learning from the Future Systems YouTube channel. Come and subscribe with me. So that looks pretty good. I have to admit, it's probably not the best AI avatar video I've seen. The lips are slightly out. So now let's have a look at Jog AI's version. This is one I've also just created. Hey, my name is Stella, and I love learning from the Future Systems YouTube channel. Come and subscribe with me. So I have to say Jog AI has probably got a better um, and more realistic AI avatar than HeyGen does in this particular example. Now it's probably subjective. There's probably other avatars that are better. But from this one demo, I can tell that Jog AI has probably a slightly better avatar look and sound compared to Heijin. 
And honestly, anything else inside of these programs is probably very similar. I honestly believe these two platforms took inspiration from each other. They seem to have a lot of the same features, a lot of the same looking layouts. The editors almost look identical. So it really comes down to, I guess, a couple of things. First of all, do you want to have the cheaper version? HeyGen is definitely much cheaper than Jog AI. Or would you prefer that more professional look, which I believe Jog AI actually has? It just looks a little bit more real. It's got a lot more portrait types of avatars if you want to create uh, short form content. So those would be my two deciding factors. Hopefully this video has helped you decide which one is better. HeyGen versus Jog AI. Once again, if you want to help support my channel, join using the links in the descriptions and don't forget to check out all the goodies in the description too. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash thumbs up button and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.